Well, this is the answer key for the Windows 8 practice image number one. So first things first, click play. Always click I copied it. And wait for it to boot up. So after the image is loaded, just click and type in the password. In this case, it's Balin. And as you can see, we are now in the VM. So in this particular one, uh, there are a few errors that I have to talk about, in which they are here. So the scoring engine has some issues, so just pretend like these do not exist, and it's at 0 out of 16. So first things first, you can see there are three non-school um, appropriate things on this computer and you should uninstall these. So to do that, press the home Windows key and type in uninstall. Click uninstall program and double click on each of these to uninstall them. It's completed. Do the same thing for all the other ones. Cool. Now all the inappropriate programs are now uninstalled. So if we check our scoring report, we can see that all three applications were uninstalled. So another important thing um, in the CyberPager competition is account policies, such as um, the password policy. To get to this, click the Windows key and R at the same time. Type in GP edit MSC, press enter. I'll open the local group policy editor. So expand the window settings tab. Then go to security settings. And as you can see here, there are account policies and local policies. So we just click on account policies, click on password policies. There are these six tabs. So the first one enforce password history. This um, allows you to change the number of passwords that the system can remember. You should keep this at five. Click apply. Maximum password age. This um, just sets the maximum age of your password before you're forced to change it. So um, change that to anywhere from 30 to 90. I'll just change it to 40. Here, minimum password age, change that to 10 to 30, just change it to 15. Minimum password length, um, set this to 8. Password must meet complexity requirements. You have to make sure this is enabled so these actually can do something. Enabled. And make sure to store passwords using reversible encryption is off. This basically um, makes sure that people cannot um, decrypt your password. So after this, we can check our scoring report. And as you can see, we got more points. So now back to that, I closed it by accident. Um, another tab is the account lockout policy right here. Um, this just basically um, gives you settings to disable the system after like a number of failed attempts to log on. So as you can see when we start here it's gray and it doesn't allow us to change it. That is because we do not we need to set up the account lockout threshold first and set this to anywhere from 50 to 15 or 5 to 50. Just set it to 10. Okay and then um, Windows gives you a suggested value to change the other two tabs to, and then these are fine, so click OK, and now you're all set. Check the scoring report, and we got more points. So, another important 
um, part of the Cyber Patriot competition is firewall. So in order to check the status of the firewall, click the Windows key, type in firewall. And as you can see, they are off. So if you just click use recommended settings, these are on and these are on. So check the score report. And we now have 15 out of 16. And the last vulnerability will be is a uh, work another work prohibited file. In this case, it can be an MP4 or an MP3. To find them on the system, go to the file manager right here. In order to search for like a video, you can um, search for its extension, which is .mp4. So just type star .mp4. So after a search, you can see all the MP4 files on the computer. These four, I think, are part of Windows and will not be scored. So this, you can see this is not a school appropriate video, which I'll load up in a second. So you should get rid of this in order to do that. Just right click click delete or pick it up and drag it to the recycle bin and then empty recycle bin so now checking the scoring report we can see that we now have 16 out of 16 100 percent scored on this image um, important things are to not uninstall system related files such as the scoring engine or Chrome, and uh, that's about it.